On 11th August 1961, the IS officer K.G. Badlani became the Prime Minister of Independent Country Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Yes, you heard it right, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. This country is today the part of one union territory of India, but it is very interesting to see how they merged in India, how RSS played a significant role in liberating those territories, and how one IS officer became the Prime Minister having powers equal to Jawaharlal Nehru. This story starts way back before British left India in 1947, during the period of 1930s when the anti-Portuguese movement started gaining momentum in Goa, it also caused the similar movements in Dadra and Nagar Haveli. But when the British finally decided to leave India, the Portuguese refused to do so. Indian government tried many times to resolve this issue diplomatically but it failed. It was also difficult for India to directly take the military actions against Portugal because Portugal was a NATO member and India didn't want to provoke NATO allies. There were also chances of possible sanctions against the newly independent India which could have been devastating for Indian economy. But all that international pressure was not applicable to the private organizations like RSS, National Liberation Movement Organization and Azad Gumantak Dal. The volunteers of RSS played a crucial role in liberation movement. RSS leaders Raja Vakankar and Nana Kazrekar had made several tours to the area and organized locals for revolting against the Portuguese. Many politicians including Ram Manohar Lohia and Jay Prakash Narayan had also supported the liberation movement. Even the legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar had performed in Pune in 1954 for raising the funds for this cause. In 1954, RSS National Liberation Movement Organization and Azad Gumantak Dal formed a united front to lead an armed assault against the Portuguese. On 22 July 1954, the United Front of Goans had attacked the Dadra police station and overpowered the staff. On that day, Dadra was declared a free territory. On 28 July 1954, the RSS Swam Sevaks along with the Azad Gumantak Dal volunteers stormed the Naroli police station and overpowered the Portuguese. Portuguese forces surrendered and Naroli was declared free from Portuguese. The Communist Party was also leading the tribals of several villages to protest against the Portuguese rule. As liberation forces gained momentum, the Portuguese forces retreated to Silvasa. The liberation forces asked Portuguese captain Fidalgo to surrender. When he did not, hundreds of RSS swim sevaks and Azad Gumantak Dal workers marched towards the Silvasa. The Portuguese fled and finally the RSS along with other organizations declared Dadra and Nagar Haveli as free from Portuguese rule. Later, Appa Saheb Karmalkar was chosen as the first administrator of Dadra and Nagar Haveli in the public meeting. Even though Dadra and Nagar Haveli was declared independent from Portuguese rule in 1954, it took many years to add that area formally to India. In legal terms, after the fall of Portuguese, Dadra and Nagar Haveli had become an independent country. The freedom organizations formed a governing body called the Varisht Panchayat of Free Dadra and Nagar Haveli. However, the government of Portugal was not ready to give up. They took that matter to the International Court of Justice and in 1960, the ICJ ruled in favor of Portugal, saying that they had the sovereign right over the Dadra and Nagar Haveli. The Varisht Panchayat then knew that it was the time for some drastic actions to merge Dadra and Nagar Haveli with India. The local leaders and Varisht Panchayat reached out to the Indian government and then India's PM Jawaharlal Nehru sent a Gujarat cadre senior IS officer KG Badlani to handle this matter. In June 1961, the people of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and the Varisht Panchayat had voted to join India. On August 11, 1961, in a unique move, KG Badlani was appointed as the Prime Minister of Dadra and Nagar Haveli. By making him Prime Minister, Badlani was made equal to Nehru. That gave him the power to sign the document of accession with India. Then the document of accession signed between the Prime Minister of India and the Prime Minister of Dadra and Nagar Haveli and this is how finally Dadra and Nagar Haveli became an integral part of India.